Hello. Good morning. Um, we've heard had a lot of chatter about third party candidates and how we need to change and we need a third party. Uh, yeah, we do. You are 100% fucking right. All in for you. When are we going to start getting third parties in on the school boards? When are we going to start getting third parties on the city councils? When are we going to start getting third party mayoral candidates, governors, senators? No? Oh, you want to go right to the presidency. You want the big gold ring. Bullshit. Bullshit. How you know this is? Because the day Joe Biden was sworn in, there should have been at least one third party candidate being pushed, being advised, being grown and led that very fucking day. Yeah, three fucking years ago, we should have had every state should have a third party person that they are trying to get on the ballot, be it as a mayor, a governor, or a senator. Okay? This is called cock blocking. This is called being a spoiler. Because last year, when gas was high, when unemployment was high, when we were in economic straits and struggling, you didn't hear third parties saying, I want to be in there in the fight. I want to lay the groundwork to help uplift this nation. To serve this nation. Not a single goddamn soul did you hear about. But when elections roll around, oh, they come out of the goddamn woodwork like somebody, no, they start scattering out like someone flipping on a room that's full of goddamn cockroaches. Me, me, I want to be president. I want to be president. I've never done a goddamn thing. Yeah, I want, at one time may have ran a business, but I've never worked to serve the public. Yeah, that right there. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. And let's be clear about this. Eight years ago, that's Jill Stein sitting right there. In Russia, that's Pooty Poo over there. There's Mike Flynn. There's Alex Gorgov. And and his bro, his friend Sergey Ivanov and Dmitry Pozdo, all of whom got busted for being Russian a agents. To be honest, fuck, they carried water for Pooty Poo, and there's Jill Stein sitting right there at the table. Damn, you can go look these people up. All these other ones have gone to court. This bitch basically just cock blocked and helped to pull votes away from Hillary and the Bernie bros supported her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they didn't think one and one makes two. Yeah. They didn't think there would be a cause and effect by doing that shit. But hey, we lived through four fucking years of that effect because of the cause. And who comes out of the woodwork one year before the election. You know, during those eight years, she could have been a mayor somewhere. She could have been a governor. Hell, fuck. She could have ran for fucking Senate. Got more experience under her belt. But no, no, no. I want that golden ring. I want the presidency. We all know she doesn't want it. The check cleared. Get out there. Stir the fucking pot. Distract people. And try to tip the scales again. But hold up a minute. Hold up. She's not alone. <laughs> See, when I say spoilers, I mean fucking spoilers. I mean someone, the little Democrat down there, the blonde guy with the perfect hair, who says there's no, there is, a, discrimination doesn't exist anymore. Uh, at his very first fucking rally, he said that. And the audience, you saw the look on their faces like, the hell did he just say? There's no such thing as discrimination anymore. He's, he's not aware of it. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to say he's pulling the fuck out. Because from what I hear, I've, everything went downhill after that first goddamn rally he had. Yeah, everything's gone down since then. There's, there's Kennedy. 
There's a Kennedy that none of the Kennedys want to acknowledge. Yeah, they've all literally come out and said, don't vote for that motherfucker. Hell no. Crazy than goddamn Betsy Bug. Talking about he's anti-vax. We were all vaccinated, including him. All of his nieces, all of his nephews, everybody's been, don't, don't, don't vote for him. What the fuck? The entire Kennedy family is saying, fuck him. There's Professor Cornell West, who owes hundreds of thousands of dollars in child support, who owes back taxes, who basically is just using this as a fucking piggy bank. Again, someone with zero experience, and he threw his hat in the ring. Um, I mean, he went from the Green Party to the Independent Party, and since he left the Green Party, there's Jill Stein over there. They you know, plucked her out the back of the closet again. Marianne Williamson, the writer of self-help books. She's a self-help guru. In the time between the last time she ran and this time, again, I'll say it, you could have been on a school board. You could have been on a city council. You could have done something between those eight fucking years. Ah, uh, yes, there's Manchin. See, McConnell ran down to West Virginia and convinced the governor, Justice, to run for the Senate against Manchin. And Manchin has pissed all over West Virginia for so long, his ass wasn't going to win nowhere. But now he's going to go around the town to talk to people, to see what the common people, the little people, what do they, what do they need? How can I help them? He ain't done a shit, shit for West Virginia. But you're going to travel the country to ask people what they need. But you never ask people in West Virginia what the fuck they need. Seriously. <laughs> what you're going to do is carefully go to those cons ultra conservative areas and try to cultivate them but you ain't done shit for west virginia oh and let's get down to chesnick the originator of the young turks who has now decided he's going to run for president he was born in turkey literally in our constitution it says you must be born in America or a territory of these United States. He wasn't. Yes, he's a citizen. He he is a citizen, but he cannot run for fucking president because neither his mother nor his father were American. So, spoiler, we have a whole batch of spoilers out here. They don't want to be in office. They just want to tip the fucking scales. If we need a third party, let me be real about this. We need to start right now for 2028. Yeah, 2028. Right now, not a single one of these motherfuckers you need to bother with. And if they're not going to be running for school board or city council or mayor or governor right now, they don't fucking need to pop their head up in four years. Right now, they need to be running for local office to get that fucking experience and then be able to run for governor, for, well, shit, for president in 2028. Yeah. He's got, Manchin's got the experience, but he just ain't never gave a fuck. If it didn't line his pockets, he didn't give a damn. This guy over here just popped up and going, me, pick me. You want a third party? Start it right now in your neighborhood. Because I'm sure there will be school board openings, mayor openings, city council openings. You start that shit now. So when Robin, ben, when Biden gets sworn in next year, you need to be at that meeting. You need to be there with pictures saying, hey, this is our guy for 2028. Yeah, he's, run, he's running for governor right now to get his foot in the door, but we're already planning for 2028 for four fucking years from now. That's how you handle shit. You don't pop up, goddamn. We want to be the president. Goddamn. America, you're doing the shit backwards. We need a third party. Work on it. <laughs> 